I went on to AliExpress and bought the cheapest knockoff sea monkey kit I could find to answer the question, is it actually possible to keep these things alive? All up, this only cost me $4.72, because shipping to me here in New Zealand was free, which is a bargain, right? Well, let's see if it works first. My first impression of this product isn't great. Calling the quality poor is definitely a bit of an understatement, because even most plastic food packaging from the supermarket is thicker than the cheap plastic they've supplied us with. This kit hasn't come with any kind of box or packaging either. Instead, all of the contents are housed within the small tank itself, which I guess is the same approach as the actual Sea Monkeys Ocean Zoo tank, so it's not a huge deal. Alright, let's open this up and have a look at the contents inside. First up, there's a small piece of paper in here that says, Dear friend, please give us 5 stars and good comments and pictures feedback. Hmm, how about no? The instruction sheet which comes with this kit says, Sea Monkeys DIY on the front with a picture of what I think is a lobster and a coral reef background. It looks like there's an octopus behind the lobster for some reason too. I don't know, I'm guessing they just pulled it from somewhere off the internet. You'll also notice the prominent American flag in the top left corner, which is only really relevant because they're ripping off an American product. Nice. Turning over to the back and we have our instructions. To be honest, this is even worse than I was expecting. Yes, the English is poor, and of course it shows an entirely different product. But step 6 in the bottom right hand corner shows photos of Triops, a completely different species. If you thought Sea Monkeys has misleading marketing, these guys just took it to a whole new level. This kit has also come with two small baggies, one containing salt and the other with brine shrimp eggs. I can see they've put thousands of eggs in here, which is wildly disproportionate to the tiny tank they provide. But hey, since they haven't included any kind of food, I don't think they actually expect you to keep these things alive anyway. Fortunately, I have some live microalgae that I've been culturing that I can use to feed these guys if they do end up hatching. Lastly, we have the tank itself. My one looks like some weird yellow teddy bear Shrek thing, but from the pictures online, it seems there are other variants on this design too. It's spherical in shape, and as I mentioned earlier, the plastic is really thin, making it super easy to bend with slight pressure. The tank's volume appears to be somewhere around 100 mils or 3.5 ounces. Definitely a little small, even for brine shrimp. The bear head lid screws on and off from the top. Why is it a bear? I have no clue. I've tried to think of something nice to say about this, but nothing's coming to mind. If I'm being honest, it kind of creeps me out. There are three air holes on top which is nice, and for some reason, a small metal chain. Like, am I supposed to attach this to my keys or something? What? I don't know. Let's get this thing set up. Step 1. Take about 400 mils of water or mineral water. Now for some reason, I want you to put this into a larger container first. Why? I have no idea. Step 2. Add sea salt bag configuration. Stir until dissolved and place to purify the day. Maybe this means they want you to wait 24 hours here before the next step? I'm not really sure, so let's carry on. Step 3. After purification liquid, remove the transparent part into the feeding bottle. Thank god there's photos to illustrate what they're trying to say here, because these translations are awful. Step 4. Pour the magic egg. Liquid egg must be covered, the remaining liquid retention spare. I'm going to put a few of these eggs in, because I think a tank this size is only really large enough for around 5 or 6 adult brine shrimp, not thousands. Perhaps this is what the instructions are actually telling me to do? Again, it's difficult to understand what they're getting at. Step 5. Lovely American Triops will gradually hatch after 2-3 to three days. Yeah, okay, sure buddy. Alright, I know I'm kind of making fun of this thing, but I really do want to see if I can keep these guys alive as a bit of a challenge. So despite these eggs being included in what is perhaps the worst brine shrimp pet product kit of all time, I'm going to provide them with the optimal growing conditions to give them a chance at life. For those of us in the southern hemisphere, south facing windowsills work best for brine shrimp as they don't receive any direct sunlight that can suddenly overheat the tank. Next up I'll add in both a mini aquarium heater and an air pump. I know these take up a lot of space in here, but the fake sea monkeys will really appreciate it. I've also gone ahead and cut two small notches into the lid so I can place the stupid bear head onto the tank too. Lastly I'll put a small UV grow light next to the tank to promote the growth of beneficial algae that the brine shrimp can eat. 
This will be important because this shitty kit hasn't come with any kind of food for these guys. For anybody interested in getting these affordable products for your own setups at home, they're all available now over on picocosmos.com. And that's all for now. I'll give you guys another update soon when something happens. Hey guys, it's been two days since adding in those eggs, and I've spotted several babies in the tank this morning. There's at least eight baby brine shrimp swimming in there, and I can still see a few more emerging from their eggs too. I'll pop one of the babies under the microscope so you can see it in more detail. It still amazes me every time I see these guys at this magnification. It almost feels like I'm peering into a little forbidden world that my eyes aren't supposed to have access to. It's a difficult feeling to describe, but I'm sure you guys get a similar sense when looking at this footage too. Now, these little guys are still much too small to start feeding yet, so I need to wait a few days for the digestive tracts to finish developing before I give them some of that salty microalgae to eat. I'll give you guys another update soon, so you can see how these little shrimp are getting on. Good morning! Today's day 4, so I'm going to give these baby brine shrimp their first feeding today. I'm really trying my best here not to call these guys sea monkeys. I know that's what the kit calls them, but I believe that name is trademarked by Transscience, so I'm just calling them brine shrimp for now. Let me know down in the comments if you guys can come up with a more creative name for them. You've probably noticed that they're slightly bigger now too. It's quite amazing how these things can grow, despite me not having fed them yet. I'm just going to give these babies a couple mils of algae from the soy sauce bottle today. There should be more than enough to keep them going for now, and hopefully help it to grow in the tank. I'll continue with these feedings every day or so, to make sure they're well fed. I'll check back in with you guys in a couple of weeks, to give you an update, and my final review. Hey guys! I think it's been about 5 or 6 weeks since I started this AliExpress beer tank thing, and I think it's finally reached maturity. I noticed a bit of a drop off in numbers around the 1 week mark, which I can only assume was due to the tank's small size, not being able to support a large population. Fortunately things stabilised after that, and I managed to get 4 of these fake sea monkeys to adulthood. 3 females and 1 male, which I think is a pretty decent effort. This pair has been mating for the last few days too, so I guess that's a good sign that they're happy and horny. There was another adult female in here, but she died a few days ago. Here's a look at her body under the microscope for any of you psychopaths that are curious. You'll notice that her body has become a bit of a mini ecosystem for small ciliates that are slowly consuming her. I know it's a bit morbid, but that's the cycle of life I guess, energy being passed from one organism to the next. It seems that despite what the paper instructions showed, these were indeed just brine shrimp and not triops, which is probably a good thing, considering there's no way triops could survive in something this small. Overall this kit kinda sucked. It came with too many eggs, no food, and a creepy looking aquarium, if you can even call it that. The fishbowl shape makes it difficult to view your pets too, and the small size kinda feels a bit cruel. Its one redeeming quality is that it's cheap, but I guess you get what you pay for. And to answer the question, is it possible to keep brine shrimp alive in here? Yes, I just wouldn't recommend you bother trying. I'm going to transfer these guys into a larger tank where they can have babies and live out the rest of their lives with some more space to swim around. I'm also going to put this crap into the bin where it belongs. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.